Hello everyone! I'm Brendan Hodek and we are back with another episode of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. Today, we're going to be breaking down a voice that is truly out of this world. The voice of Marvin the Martian. One of the most popular Looney Tunes villains, Marvin the Martian has been appearing in cartoons since 1948. In his original appearances, he was actually never named. He was sometimes referred to as Antwerp in promotional material. It wasn't until 1979's Bugs Bunny and Roadrunner movie that Marvin actually got his name. His pastimes include trying to outsmart Bugs Bunny and attempting to destroy the Earth. Thankfully, Bugs always prevents him from doing so. My favorite thing about Marvin is, of course, his voice. So, let's break this voice down. Component number one, the vocal cords. The vocal cords are trickier than they sound at first for this voice. The voice might appear to be a little lower pitched and fully compressed, with the voice sounding pretty connected and strong, but this is not the case. Marvin's pitch is actually neutral, even slightly higher than neutral. It's really about here. Additionally, there's actually some decompression going on. For those who are new to voice breakdown, compression and decompression refer to how tightly the vocal cords are coming together. The greater the compression, the more connected the voice sounds and can even sound squeezed or tight if we use too much compression. The more decompressed the voice is, the breathier it will sound, almost as if it has an air leak. Marvin's voice, if you remove all the other elements and only focus on the vocal cords, is actually fairly soft. There is some slight decompression there. We just don't notice it until we remove all the other elements. As we add those components back in, you'll see how this voice transforms into the voice we know and love. The Earth? Oh, the Earth will be gone in just a few seconds. Oh, I'm going to blow it up. It obstructs my view of Venus. Component number two, the larynx. We'll want the larynx to be relatively neutral for this voice, but there's a catch. In a moment, we'll be discussing the tongue. The movement the tongue does will make it challenging to keep the larynx neutral. As a result of what the tongue is doing, your larynx will want to naturally rise. If we let the larynx rise, the voice will sound too bright and squeezed. It will sound a lot more like, yes, yes, instead of, yes, yes. Therefore, even though the larynx should be neutral, since it naturally will want to rise because of the tongue, we need to focus and try to lower the larynx a bit. Again, it won't be a low larynx, it will be a neutral larynx, but we have to pull it down from that high position into that neutral spot. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Component number three, the tongue. This is a crucial component for this voice, arguably the most important. We want to clench the back of the tongue. This will get us largely on the way to that distinctive Marvin tone. For those unfamiliar with how to clench the tongue, check out our voice breakdown video titled Component Focus Number Three, How Do I Control My Tongue? for some exercises to help you feel this kind of alignment. But we'll want to clench the back of the tongue, similar to the feeling you get when you flex your bicep, just with the back of your tongue instead. As we do, it gives us a kind of bubbly sound. In addition, we also need to make sure we lower the back of the tongue and create some space in the back of the mouth. You'll recall with the larynx earlier how we said that if we raise the larynx, it will sound too bright and squeezed. Well, in line with that, we also can't have the back of the tongue too high as this will cause unwanted brightness as well. The good news is that lowering the back of the tongue and lowering the larynx to try and keep it neutral tend to go together. So, if you think of one of these, whichever one is easier for you, the other will likely follow. So, clench the tongue, lower it in the back, and you'll be so close to sounding just like Marvin the Martian. 
You have made me very angry. Very angry indeed. At long last, my dream come true. Component number four, the soft palate. We've covered some other tongue-clenched voices in the past, but Marvin's soft palate position is one of the aspects that makes this voice pretty unique. There is a lot of nasal resonance for his voice. As a reminder, as we lower the soft palate, we gain more nasal resonance. So, we want a pretty low soft palate for this. Really make sure you feel those vibrations in the nose and in the front of your face to make sure the palate is where it needs to be. Component number five, articulation. Marvin often over enunciates his sounds. Make sure you really chew each and every sound, making them as clear as you can, especially when he's saying his techno babble. At last, after 2,000 years of work, the Illudium P36 Explosive Space Modulator. It's common in everyday speech for plosive sounds, like p and t, to not pop as much in certain words. For example, we might say it instead of it, or up instead of up, but Marvin, Always make sure that those plosive sounds are very clearly enunciated at the ends of words. This happens in the middle of words as well. When he talks about his planet-destroying device, he says space modulator instead of space modulator. The t is very clearly produced, and the or is said as or instead of a more simplified er. Hmm, yes. Very curious. Very interesting. We're almost there, folks. Just one more component. Delays, delays. Component number six, prosody. Prosody refers to the melodic and rhythmic patterns of a voice. It's here that we often see the personality of the individual come through. For Marvin, there is a degree of pretentiousness in his voice. Almost a sense of, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. In order to do that, there are these melodic sweeps, where there is a lofty lift in the beginning that then falls toward the end. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Show that sense of snootiness, and you'll sound just like Marvin the Martian. Yes. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it delightful? Let's recap. Component number one, the vocal cords. Marvin's pitch is deceptively neutral pitched, or just slightly higher than neutral, and it is softened by some mild decompression. Component number two, the larynx. We'll want a neutral larynx, but due to the larynx naturally rising when incorporating the tongue clench, we'll have to actively lower it to get it to be neutral. Component number three, the tongue. Clench the back of the tongue and make sure to keep it lower as well to create some resonating space. Component number four, the soft palate. Lower the soft palate to give some good nasal resonance. Component number five, articulation. Over enunciate every sound and make those plosives clear and crisp. Component number six, prosody. Have that pretentious and snooty inflection. You are on Mars! Isn't that lovely? I claim this planet in the name of Mars! Thank you for watching Voice Breakdown episode 53. Be sure to check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. See you next time! The Earth? Oh, the Earth will be gone in just a few seconds.